Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cami, and welcome back to my homestead. Well, guys, I have the door off of the wood stove, and I plan on putting on, if I can get to it, if I plan on putting on this rope here is a wood stove rope around the door. Now, I tried to take the rope and put it around the door with the door on, and it was very difficult. So I took the door off and it consists of just taking my needle nose pliers and taking this uh, needle nose pliers and getting this little washer off. Now I did work around it. I just didn't pull onto it because it's very flimsy and uh, it's small and it's, you know, it's easy to break. So the needle nose pliers work excellent on that. And I laid this door down here and I went ahead and tried basically to get my rope, went around it and, and cut my rope for the size of it. Now, one of the things I've also already done mostly is took my needle nose pliers and you can use a flathead, but what do you want to do is go around this door here after you got the old gasket off to put on the new gasket and get off any crisso, any uh, cement uh, gasket that's previously on there. You want to make sure all that is off. So I didn't have, I was lucky I didn't have that much on here, but you know, you want to go around the door and get all that off. Now, at the top, I didn't really have any, I just kind of get this little spot over here and there, and um, and so once I've got that off, I'm going to rub my finger around, make sure I, I do got it off. These of those pliers work great. Because you can kind of, it's small at the end, you kind of get around into the groove. I'm going to rub my thing around there and see if I feel any. This one right there. And that feels pretty good. So, um, the next thing I'm going to do is that since I've got some rust on here, I want to take my little brush and I'm going to go around and get the, the rust off of the door. Because I did a part of it, um, you know, the other part of the stove previously, but because the window was on, the stove window was on, I couldn't get around the edges. So I'm just going to take this little brush and it really gets into the grooves. And it's smaller, so it's more easily to control it. Getting on the floor is, just makes it so much easier. We can really get down and look at it. Now I was lucky I didn't um, have too bad of a rust. But where the gasket, the window door gasket, which is, was this right here, it's just all ravelly, that's got to be replaced, it's just had it, you know, so um, where that was lacking this rope, it really, it really rusted up. So, I see a rust smoke cloud, so that means that rust is coming off. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and take. I got a bigger brush, which you can say we don't take all that, but this one right here really gets into the grooves. And uh, you're gonna do it, you might as well do it right. Sometimes this rust, uh, if, if it, you know, gotten bad, it will get into your cast iron or get into the steel. So you want to make sure you get all that off before you proceed any further. I put my towel down here, bring it outside so that I can just do it right on in here and 
did not have to get on the ground, so this, this worked out pretty good. All right, that looks pretty good. Grow your fingers around it and see if you feel anything else. Think about the hand of the it kind of gives you a good grip. rust off at is around the where the window is going to be setting but you know since the gas goes off you know this is something you might consider doing while you're putting on the door gasket you know go ahead and take your window out and replace this replace the window gasket and uh if it needs to be sanded you know since it's already down just go ahead and do your maintenance with your wood stove all right, so the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be using my 50. I said, we don't take all that. Well, you know, sometimes doing things halfway is not a good thing. So I'm just going to take this 50 here and because that rust can get really embedded into your steel, your cast iron. And I'm just going to give it a little sanding here because the wire brush is, you know, this is, this is the get really get into places that the wire brush didn't get. Kind of make it a little bit smoother if it's unsmooth. Mine is really rusted at the bottom of the window. Because the gasket will, this is a clear, um, a discontinued stove, so I, I bought this used. So whoever had it, they, you know, could have gone ahead and placed the, the window gasket around it, but they didn't. And uh, surely it had to smoke the way it looked, so it, it just created it to rust in those areas. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna take my rag and I'm gonna kinda go over it a little bit. All right, let's give it a bit of wiping here. Getting those corners. And I'm gonna take Massetone. Now, that's the I have around the house. I think it'll work just fine. It's nail polish remover. This is 100% pure alkaline. So, if you'll take glitter off fingernails, any little particles I want off of this, it should do the trick. And put a good little amount here. Nail polish doesn't take very long to dry. And I'm just going to wipe around here and and it's getting black stuff off here. Probably some smoke, smudge, you know, it'll, it'll get that cleaned up. The rag is, also gets into the creases and gets all those little particles off from that brush. Where I'm going to be putting that door gasket out, I'm just, you know, actually I'm wiping everything down because I've got to replace the window gasket. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it at one time. Now, this alkaline doesn't take very long to dry. It's like, it just kind of evaporates. Now, since I got this, that looks good already. So, since I got um, this off, what I'm going to be doing now is 
I'm going to take the wood, um, I'm going to be taking the stained black stove paint. It's 1200 um, degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm just going to go ahead, so I've got it sand down, I got it, I got it prepped pretty much. I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, go ahead and cover up um, any rust that possibly be there, but it's not rust. I got it all off, but just go ahead and, you know, make it look good. It's already tore apart. This won't take, but just a few minutes. This stuff right here does not take very long to dry. So I'm just going to go around it. And I am using a foam brush. This stuff dries in like in a matter, it just dries so fast, dries so fast. Really easy. Look at that already. Looks wonderful. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to give this time to dry. It, it won't take very long. And so now it's ready. Put that gasket in. Loving it. All right. So I'm going to pause for just a minute, let this dry, and then we'll put the gasket in. This door is now ready for the stove pipe gasket, the rope. Okay, so as we know, this door has been sanded. It has been had a steel two brushes to it. It had the small one and the big one. This one went into the little grooves, and this one is like a backup. And I also took the 50 weight or 50 um, grain uh, sandpaper and went around it and also put the stove paint over it. So now it is ready for the rope, the stove of rope. So, um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm using the stove and gasket cement. Now this is actually, it's like I've seen on here, it's, it's for metal and it's for masonry. Um, this goes up to 2000 um, high temperature. And so it's a really good quality gasket here. So I've already cut the end of it and ready to put it in. This is a new gadget here. I've never used one like this. So it's really, if you're gonna do this inside, it's really good to have a towel or something down. So I've got my end cut and I'm ready to put this in. So I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna start over here. I'm just going to put a good bead of it in. Oh, that really came out too much. It must have got some air in it. Yep. So we're going to just wipe that off right there. Just talking, guys. 
It's done a many jobs. It's cold. It acts like it's uh it has like it's been too too long. So this is a really good type of caulking. Now it's doing really good. We're just going to put this around here and we're going to scroll that gasket, or that rope. Gasket rope. Right. Some people call them gaskets, some people, you know, but it is a, it's a rope and it goes around the door. Keep the smoke from seeping out. Now I've gone through and um, also and got the old gasket off of here. So it, this door is in prepped. It is so ready. Now this right here, once you put it on, the stove is supposed to um, sit, you know, you start your stove in about 30 days. Um, the temperature is going to go up to 500 degrees and that is going to cure the, I'm going to put a little bit right there. I'm not liking that. That's going to cure this uh, cement. I'm just going to put a little bit more. I know it's going to spread. Um, I guess if I get too much, I'll, if I get too much, I'm just going to wipe it off. Let that just fell right there. So we're just going to put it down there. Drag and wipe that off. All right. Put just a little bit right there. It's really coming out good now. That should be good. Put one right there. Got too much, just you know, just wipe it off. I'm just gonna it around. Probably might be putting too much. We'll see. But I'd rather really wipe it off and not have it off. So we gotta look at it. Alright, take a look at it. I like it, I don't like that right there. Get in the corners, you need to get in the corners really good. This up here is, is looks like way too much, is where it came out. Um, you know, they don't have an expiration date on this stuff. But, all right. So you can take a, a ceramic tape, if you can find it in your area. You cut your rope to size. You can take and, uh, you know, put it on the ends. That keeps it, it helps it to butt up. And also with this rope, once you cut it, I've got like, I think it was probably six feet of rope, so I could have some later on when I want to change it out. I don't want to do like the last person did and just wear the rope out. Um, both the door gasket and the uh, door window gasket, or the door rope and the door window gasket, both of them need to be replaced. So, took the door out um, and cleaned it up real good and got all the rust off and that and painted it with stove paint and so this this thing is so ready. So all we're gonna do is uh, all we're gonna do is lay it in there. I am gonna pull this rope just a little bit. Let me see if I can. Sometimes you pull this rope, it's gonna stretch a little bit. When you cut it, this is the thing. It's best to go ahead and cut it and go ahead and put it in your stove because it starts shrinking back up. So I might have to. I better go ahead and do that. I might have to pull this rope because it draws back up. Let me see something here. I'm not liking how that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some more in there. I'm just gonna make sure I've got enough that's really sealing this. Some it up, but or off, it'll be fine. I want my rope. You know, I want it in there. So, all right, stretch it one more time. It does draw up. 
and then you start putting it on there, it's like it's too short. Now this might be too long. We'll see how when it, I get it on there. I'm just gonna put it in there. Make sure you get it in the corners good. And I, what I'm doing, I'm just laying it. I'm I'm actually mashing it in there. So I mean, that's, that way it can kind of spread that um, cement. Stove pipe cement. So that up there was just what I did. What just what I thought it was going to do. Kind of spread it out more in that spine. And see now. Let's see. I'm going to stretch it just a little bit. I'm going to pull this around right here. And we're just mashing it in there. Get it in that corners real good. Get it to butt up. You know, rope to ropes, um, end to end, and it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mash this around. I'm taking my rag where it's where it's too much. Just take your rag and wipe it off. It's also going to what's um, oozed out. It's just actually just going to push it right back in. So. Push, you know, it's gonna push it right around back in there. Oops, there's some that fell right there in that door. So it's good to wear gloves, and not your hands gonna be looking like this. I did have a glove on, and um, oh, it's over there, so that's not, that's not doing a bit really of good. All right, so and while I was sanding this one. It tore the glove, so it's all good. But if you want clean hands when you get done, just make sure you wear gloves. All right, that's it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. The next step is putting in the window and putting in the other gasket. That'll be on another video. So I'm really happy about this project. Got this part done. So what I'm gonna do, this takes about an hour you got to let it set at least hour, hour, hour to 24 hours. So it's going to be sitting here for, for an hour at least, if not 24 hours. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to see how it does in, in just a little bit. And uh, what I like to do is go ahead, and if, it, if it's good within an hour, then go ahead and put the washer back on, put the door back on, and, and close the door and give it some pressure. And... Um, so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you learned anything from this video, if you like this video, please share it. Please hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done a video. And thank you so much for all my subscribers. Um, it just blesses my socks off, as they say, when I, when I look and say I got, I got, you know, I got two more sub subscribers. And that to me is such a blessing. I thank you so much for even taking the time to give me that thumbs up and and sharing and hitting that notification bell and subscribing it's such a blessing i don't take that very i don't take that lightly at all I don't take it very lightly at all so i just want to thank you for all thank you both thank you all for that and uh remember my motto is to make it a great day and uh also i want to share this tip with you this is like uh some water and a couple squirts of dawn dish detergent just a little bit shake it up and this will clean the smoke, the residue off of your stove glass. And you don't have to spend money, eight bucks, to try and buy a glass cleaner for your wood stove. Use some Dawn dish detergent, and then this will last you forever. Actually, it's good for cleaning any type of window. It creates it to not, it creates it to be streak free. It's not going to be streaking off, especially if you're cleaning your windows into uh, the sun. All right, so this is great for wood stoves. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and remember to make it a great day, and God bless you.